You've got mail. Envisioned as a means of connecting people, social media was born in the late 90s. The buzz early on was that social media would be a democratizing force. It would be a positive for not just the United States, but for the globe. There's no question that it's given the public its own voice. The incredible explosion of social media has put that power of mass communication into the hands of anybody. But as social media might describe the results, it's complicated. It's a good tool to connect. Um, I think it is sometimes a good tool to get information, not always. I think um, it is a mixed bag of goods. Sometimes relying too heavily on social media for information could create the reverse effect of just being misinformed. Social media is a social good. There are those who use the channels and the platforms for malfeasance and in some cases for literally doing evil. People are a lot more clear-eyed now about the role of social media, that it in and of itself is not good or bad, it's those who use it. Dubbed by some as the Facebook or Twitter revolution, the 2011 Arab Spring saw widespread use of social media. It has no power of control from anyone. There is no way to fake it or anything like this. The Arab Spring is a case study in the birth of social media as a force for change. It was uh, something that was going to bring democracy. It was going to help inform everyone. It was part of the revolution and therefore part of the spread of democracy. You also saw that a few years earlier in Iran in 2009. You saw it a little bit afterwards with the Gezi Park demonstrations in Turkey. That is, this is part of any public uprising. It is very powerful and it is very hard for any state to deal with. In Tunisia, Facebook played a huge role during the Arab Spring in getting people out onto the street and in making those protests effective. They toppled a dictator. But the follow-on construction of a democratic constitution in Tunisia and the prevention of the return of dictatorship, that's much more attributed to social organizing of an, of an old school kind. Social media empowered its users to spread information and organize gatherings in country and beyond. It's given more people a voice and it's given more people a way to be heard. The voices in the aggregate have affected change and have affected what people pay attention to. Clearly, it's much easier to share information that appears digitally, but this has a dark downside as well. It caused a lot of violence, big social upheaval. It's a mixed picture. In Pakistan or Bangladesh or Egypt or any number of emerging societies, social media platforms are integrated with social sectarian political conflicts. They're part of the fabric of the country now. They're forms of supra-community that are also forums for conflict. Social media corporations seized on the Arab Spring to push the idea that these profound changes were good, that they were going to lead to the blossoming of democracy and human rights around the world. In fact, what it's done for the most part is to actually muddle what's true and what's not true in both countries like Egypt and Turkey, but also in the United States as well.